Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 20. And in this tutorial, we are gonna be taking a look at finishing off this slider. So uh, yeah, if I take a look at the slider here and then I take a look at the slider in my design, I think there are quite a few differences. So first of all, the text needs to change. This button uh, is definitely a lot bigger in my design than it is um, over here. And then I think also if I scroll down a little bit, I've made a little bit of a problem here in the photo of my website and I need to fix that as well. Uh, so that's not quite got to do with the slider, but I think that was just something I missed out uh, during the footer tutorial and I'd like to kind of take care of that now. So uh, yeah, the first thing you need to do is uh, open everything up in your text editor and I've already got a bunch of these uh, files open here. So I'm gonna be working in the index file and I'm also gonna be working in the footer.inc.php file and I'm probably also gonna be working uh, in custom CSS. So let's open that up now as well. Uh, so uh, one thing I wanna change in the footer is, do you see where it says div class UK width medium one of two? Uh, right, that splits our footer into two parts. So the left side and then the right side. But basically, um, I can just set a bigger breakpoint for this. So if I type the word medium in between the one and the width, um, basically that just means that the breakpoint for this should be on medium screen. So anything smaller than a medium screen uh, will display as a full width, whereas everything larger than a medium screen will display um, as uh, one of two, right? And if that doesn't make any sense to you at all, uh, let me just go ahead and save this. And if we jump back over to the browser and refresh, you can see that now these two are actually taking up the full width on a small screen, on our mobile screen. But anything bigger than a mobile screen or a medium screen, uh, anything that that is a medium screen or bigger, uh, it, splits, it splits up and it takes up half for this one and then half of the screen for this one. Right, so uh, yeah, that kind of fixed my footer problem, but not quite, because I think there were a few other things that I needed to fix here, so let's inspect uh, again. And yeah, with my mobile inspector on, um, you can see that this is still left aligned or right aligned, and this is still left aligned. So uh, we can add in another class here, which is just UK text uh, center dash small. Now the dash small just means on a small screen, we'll center the text. Uh, so this is a really useful, really uh, handy class that is available to us in UIKit. And if I save that now and jump back over to the browser and refresh, boom, on a small screen, it is centered. So that is, um, if we look at my footer design here, looking much, much better. I think just when I made this footer, I made it really big. So I gave quite a lot of spacing in here. Uh, and I could fix this with some custom CSS, but I'm actually not quite sure my footer needs to be this big either. So I'm sort of happy to stick with that and maybe just give it a little bit more line height. Uh, that's something I could do. So let's just inspect this. And maybe what I could do is um, is in my footer, just, just give that an extra class. So uh, let's go back to my code and um, for my footer, oh, we already have a class here, TM footer, that's great. I'm gonna use that class in my uh, CSS. And I'm just gonna give this a line height of, um, I suppose it's 16 pixels right now. So let's, let's try 25 pixels uh, as a line height and see if that makes anything better. Let's refresh. Hmm, I don't think that changed anything, but it also might be cached. So let's hard refresh here. And yeah, the footer got a little bit bigger. I suppose we could we could bump this up some. Let's make it like 50 pixels or something just for. Uh, there we go. That looks <laughs> that looks very close to my design actually. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to I'm going to be happy with that and leave that as is. Uh, but now let's move on to our slider. And yeah, uh, one thing I wanna do here is just make these or this button really big. So um, I think one way to do that is 
let's jump back over to our code and um, yeah, in our slideshow code right now, let's find these buttons. So there's one here and there's one here. And instead of using the UK button large class, I suppose we can add in our own class here of TM button um, very large or something. And I guess we could also just keep this class and modify upon that. I'm not quite sure what uh, what all that class is adding right now. But yeah, now if we've got this class here, uh, let's, let's just change TM button very large to TM button huge. Um, I think that'll take up a little bit less space because it's quite a long class. All right, so let's copy that, move that over to our CSS and I'm gonna paste that in here. And let's go ahead and start styling this. Uh, so I think one thing we can do here is just give it a little bit more padding. So I think uh, right now it's got no pixels or no padding on the top and the bottom. So let's just give it 10 pixels and then uh, 15 pixels for the left and the right. We'll also give it a line height of something like 36 pixels and a uh, font size of 36 pixels. And the reason why I'm choosing 36 pixels for the font size, by the way, if the if the line height or the font size is gonna be 36, we should probably make this, uh, let's make it 44, right? Just to be a little bit bigger than the actual um, space of our text. Now the reason why I'm choosing 36 for the text is because I believe that this heading over here is size 36. So let's uh, refresh and boom, our button text is about the same size as our text in the slider right now. And yeah, everything's looking pretty good there. Um, there does seem to be like some opacity on my button and I'm not sure why. I'm gonna have to t try and see if I can fix that because uh, yeah, if you, if you zoom in a lot, uh, let's try make that 100. And 50. You can kind of see through this button. So I think we're gonna need to try and fix that. Okay, so uh, I've gone ahead and found the problem here. Uh, but basically, if you uh, inspect element on the slideshow, um, it's the opacity is not on the button. It's also not on the heading one or the div above that. It's on the entire overlay panel, right? So uh, looking at this overlay panel, there is a class and it must be in our custom CSS file. I don't know if I changed this by accident or if this is just how it came uh, on UI Kits customizer, uh, but the overlay has uh, a slight transparency of 0.7. Um, but if we change that to one, I can see through, or I can't, I can't see through the button anymore, which is good. That's exactly what I want. Uh, and the background of our overlay also gets a little bit darker, which uh, I'm fine with. I think it is actually a little bit darker in my design anyway, if I scroll all the way back up here. No, it isn't. I don't think I put an overlay there, right? But um, yeah, this darkness will come in handy if I use a very light colored image in the background. So if I use an image that might have a little bit of white or something, this, uh, this dark background, usually counters that uh, so that this white text that's on our slider is gonna be visible. So I'm absolutely okay with having a dark background here. Uh, in fact, I would have wanted it. I'm not sure why I didn't put it in the design. Maybe that was just time constraints. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave this uh, as it is. Um, so uh, I, could, I could go ahead and make this change in UI Kits Customizer. Um, but that's probably gonna take some time. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna do it the short way. And I'm gonna copy this exactly as it is uh, from Google Chrome and just paste that in my custom CSS file over here. And that's gonna overwrite um, the stuff on the slideshow that I didn't like. So if I save this now uh, and we look at this in the browser again, uh, I should now no longer have transparency on my slideshow, so that's pretty awesome, right? And uh, yeah, I think the next thing I wanted to do and the last thing I wanted to do was just change the text on my slideshow. So let's pick some cheesy text that we can put in our 
heading ones here. And I think uh, in my design we had your next adventure awaits. So that's something cool. Let's put that in here. Your next adventure awaits. Uh, book now. And then for the next one, we can also do something cheesy like um, have an awesome desert holiday in Namibia or something. Not that anybody would want to go to holiday in a desert, but the, this picture over here looks, looks a lot like uh, a desert ride in Namibia. And uh, Namibia is a neighboring country of mine, so uh, I've always wanted to go and I never have gone, so probably be pretty cool. Uh, oh, by the way, <laughs> observant people might have noticed that I, uh, I switched the images around. Uh, so maybe that's something I can do here is just switch those back. Um, have that as image one and that as image two. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. Here we still have text appearing underneath the arrows. Hmm. Okay, so something we could do to, uh, to fix this, um, it'll be a quick fix, is to go over to this uh, heading one. And let's add some break tags in here. So I think if I add a break tag here and Desert holiday in Namibia. Hmm. Let's try another break tag there. But let's give these break tags a class of UK visible small. Uh, and we can just copy that and paste that onto that break tag. Now the reason why I'm putting this class on here is because that'll make sure that the break tag only shows up and breaks the line on a small screen, so on a mobile phone screen, which means on a desktop, uh, it shouldn't break at all, right? So let's refresh. Okay, so that's looking good. And let's go to slide two. Um, all right, so that's mm, still kind of hidden behind the navigation. But because it's only visible on a small screen, it will still display all in one line on a big screen like this, which is uh, totally cool. Um, so maybe I can just add in one more break tag after holiday. And I suppose this is something that, you know, you might want to check across a, a variety of screen sizes just to make sure um, that it displays well on all screen sizes, but I think desktop's looking good and mobile is looking fine as well. I mean, I'm totally okay with that. I don't know if I'm happy with this text here, but uh, I think I'll try and think of a solution and then we'll try and implement that in a future video. But for now, I think I'm gonna end this video off here because um, this, uh, this slideshow is looking much, much better and my footer is looking much, much better. So uh, yeah. Uh, before I end off this video, I do want to send a huge shout out to my current patrons. So the guys whose names are on screen now pledge $5 or more every single month on Patreon. And that goes a long way to helping me make more videos for you guys more often. It also goes a long way to helping keep my videos free. So if you guys like the videos I create and you want to help me make more videos, then please uh, consider making a pledge on Patreon. There are a bunch of new cool rewards out for you and I'll see you guys next time.